Hey friends, this is Sister Gwendolyn. You know, the prophet Joel wrote that in the last days that the Lord would pour out his spirit on all flesh, that their sons and daughters would prophesy, old men would dream dreams, young men would see visions, even on his men servants and maid servants, he would pour out his spirit. And this prophecy was indeed partially fulfilled on Pentecost, and it's continually being fulfilled at this present time time. Now, some people have grown cold of prophecies now because of the presidential election. Some people are lacking discernment by prophesying about politics or by judging others harshly when it appears as though their prophecies have not come to pass. And I'm not keeping a list of those who prophesied of the past election, nor am I condemning anyone who might have falsely prophesied. And do you know why, friends? Because it's not over until it's over. And those who are without sin, they should come forward first. We are in a very fluid situation, and the only place to be found right now is in Christ. Bitterness is arising in many in the body of Christ, and I don't want to be found in bitterness at his coming. And I like to reflect on the Apostle Paul's most famous uh, words, love never fails. Where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. Uh, but the greatest of these is love. So friends, we have to stay in love so that no matter what happens from day to day, every day is changing. Uh, we have to just be ready to go home at any time. And I don't want to be caught in this trap of prophetic offense or uh, with a judgmental spirit. I just want to be found uh found ready with with clean hands and a pure heart waiting on the Lord. I am on here today to share a, a supernatural dream that the Lord gave me and friends, I want you to take it to the Lord in prayer. Test the spirit of the dream. Uh, this dream was given to me on January 7th and the Lord has been using dreams to teach me ever since I was a little child. Not all dreams are from the Lord, but we have to take the dreams and line them up with scripture and uh, find that there are other confirmations out there. He has continued to teach me these things that will happen to those who will be here during the tribulation time. The things that they will see with their own eyes. Now, in this dream, I was in Jerusalem. I was in a community shower room with other women and children, and there was a lot of discussion going on in there. And for some reason, there was a severe water shortage. Everyone knew that there was great trouble around the corner as the current situation among the people began looking very sim similar to the Holocaust. And one woman said to me in the shower that if I wanted to escape, that there was a small community of believers living in the wilderness. And then another one mentioned that the strange military vehicles, which look like military buses, they would soon be taking all people to the extermination camps. And I had a small girl with me. She, she didn't have her mother, but I was watching over her. And I took her by the hand, and I returned to my apartment. Now, as I was walking out of this community shower building, I saw a very tall religious Jew walking along the sidewalk. And uh, he was caught up within his own thoughts, uh, very, very busy in his own mind, thinking, thinking, and uh, not paying attention to anybody else around him. He was very tall, about seven feet tall, very scruffy. He had a long red beard. And momentarily, he transformed into a walking reptile with his clothes on. And I saw his face change shape from, you know, regular human face. And then he developed like a snout. And, you know, it shocked me. And he seemed very angry that people knew that he was shape-shifting because he had remained hidden for so long. And, uh, wow, when the people... Uh, 
they caught a glimpse of him the sidewalk cleared really quickly friends they knew that he was not human and he continued walking as though no one noticed and that that's really about the gist of the dream and I believe what the Lord was showing me in this dream is that the Jewish people will have eyes to see what is going on around them politically uh, you know during the tribulation and that the fallen ones they come in many shapes and sizes and they are at the heart of all the turmoil going on against the Jewish people and their goal was complete eradication of all the descendants of Abraham Isaac and Jacob so friends this is a uh, a video message it is not anti-Jewish it is pro-Jewish it is let us pray for the Jewish people let's keep them uh, in our hearts keep them in our prayers those Jewish people who are in Israel and they are all around the globe let's stay friends in a constant state of repentance let's ask the Lord to help us to all have clean hands and a pure heart at all times and let's band together as friends get together with others and pray get on the you know who cares about Facebook Messenger it's a FBI CIA program anyways they they probably overhear everything anyways but let's use all the tools out there to have prayer groups Bible studies use your cell phone go down to the coffee shop and pray uh, anywhere use all tools friends that we can band together and change that atmosphere on this planet prior to the coming of the Lord let's get our households in order friends for the coming of the Lord all right well I think that's it for now and until next time friends I bless you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Shalom